over the years, many people have always thought that uh, wealth, true wealth, is all about having money, having houses, and you know, living large. But on today's video, I've come to change that idea because in the long run, what most people think as true as wealth is not true wealth. Now, one of the reasons I want to share these thoughts with you is because when your definition of wealth is wrong, then you can never achieve it. This is one of the reasons you see that there are many people who are already wealthy and they don't know that they are wealthy. You know why? Because they are looking at the wrong direction. And as long as you are looking at the wrong direction, it is very obvious that you will miss it. My name is Franklin from the Money Code Academy. Now, what exactly, how do you quantify true wealth? What is the true definition of wealth? There are certain parameters that I have written down for you that I believe will help you to redefine what wealth is all about. No doubt, when we talk about wealth, money is involved. But the truth of the matter is, money is not a major thing. There are lots of other things that make up what wealth is truly all about. The first thing that we're going to be looking at here is health. Why am I sharing this with you? You know, there are many people who are wealthy. They just don't know that they are wealthy. And that's something that we want to redefine so that you can appreciate the wealth you have. Health is one of those things. You must have heard the statement that says health is wealth. Now, people say that stuff, but they don't understand in depth the true meaning of that statement. But I came here to let you know that one of the first ways in which you quantify wealth, one of the first things you must look out for is health. The reason is because if you are not healthy, there is nothing you can do. Have you ever been in that situation where, you know, you became sick, maybe you had malaria or you had one sickness or the other, or even toothache, as little as that may seem, you will agree with me that when you were going through that pain, there was nothing you could do. The real wealth, my brothers and sisters, is health. It begins there. When a man is healthy, that is when he'll be able to pursue any other thing. If that man is not healthy, hear me, he cannot pursue his dreams, he cannot pursue uh, finances. There is absolutely nothing he will be able to pursue. So you discover that this is something that you really, really need to look into. Think about it. The second way in which you quantify true wealth or the second way in which you ought to know about true wealth is maintaining relationships. Do you want to be wealthy? Do you want to walk in the corridors of wealth? Now, this is something that you've got to look into. Not money. Have you seen what we're talking about here? This is how to quantify true wealth. Maintaining relationships. There are people today who do not know how to maintain relationships, but they do not know that relationship itself is a currency. Whether you like it or not, relationship is a currency. And as long as you are not in the habit of maintaining good relationship, you are leaving a lot of money on the table. You just do not know it. Yeah, that's the truth. You've got to understand that as far as life is concerned, there is nobody that comes into your life, you know, by mistake. Everyone has a purpose to fulfill in your life. Your responsibility is to discern that purpose and take advantage of it. That's the truth. That's the truth. You may have a friend today who may not have any money, but just because you were able to treat that friend right and just because you were able to maintain that relationship, five years from now, that friend of yours could become the person that will sustain you over time. So the first one I said is health. The second one is maintaining relationship. This is what true wealth is all about. So if you're listening to me today and you are in the habit of knocking or destroying relationships, you don't care about your relationship, then you're making a very big mistake. You've got to work on these before it gets late. Because see, there are certain things that money may not be able to give to you that relationship will give to you. There are certain offices that money may not be able to open for you that, you know, relationship will open for you. So this is something that you truly, truly need to give attention to. 
Now, the third way in which you know what true wealth is all about is good time management. Now, you are beginning to understand that you are already wealthy. You just do not know it. It's not about the cash. The cash is there. But then, if these things are out of place, then you can't attain wealth. That's the truth. Good time management, my friend, is one thing that you use to quantify true wealth. If you are a man or a woman who do not manage your time well, you will always be poor. So what am I trying to do to you? I'm trying to give you a new perspective. Instead of you pursuing money, what you should do is manage your time well. Put your time to good use. Most of the wealthy guys that you see out there, go and read their stories. You'll be shocked. There are many of them who wake up by 5, by 4 a.m. in the morning. And, you know, they have daily routine. They have morning routine, which has helped them a great deal to manage their business, to come up with ideas and create products that has become best-selling products all over the world. Do you know that one of the true reasons for poverty is poor time management or no time management at all yeah this is why when you go to the western world you will discover that most of the things they do there they pay per hour somebody wants to work in a restaurant and they pay them per hour why because they've come to understand you know the value of time so when we talk about real wealth when we talk about wealth we're talking about good time management do you want to attain wealth Begin today to learn how to manage your time well. Use your time to package services that you can offer. Use your time to create products that you can sell. These things may not immediately begin to produce results for you. They may not immediately begin to generate cash for you. But guess what? As long as they are there and you are putting in effort of marketing and sales, hear me, one day, it will pick up and it will change your life completely. That's the truth. When Steve Jobs started the Apple uh, products and all, many people thought it wasn't going to produce anything. But today, Apple is one of the biggest, if not one of the best when it comes to, you know, iPad, iPhones and all that. So true wealth is all about good time management. Another thing about true wealth is harnessing ideas. Most people, they spend all their time chasing after money and then they leave out this part. Do you know that real money is not a paper? Real money is intangible. Ideas is real money. Everything that you see around you, they are all running on ideas. This medium through which you are hearing from me now, it is an idea of somebody so many years ago. When the idea started, it didn't look as though it was going to do well. But look at it today. It's something else. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world today. But it all began as an idea. Instead of you spending your time running after money, why don't you spend your time to harness those ideas that has come to you? Do those ideas to work and you'll be shocked what will happen in your life in the long run. You get a point now. So this is something that you truly, truly need to work on. Another way in which you quantify true wealth is opportunity management. This is how to know real wealth. Most of the wealthy guys out there, one of the things they will tell you is that they know how to manage opportunities well. They don't let opportunities pass them by. They don't do that. They do everything to ensure that they manage that opportunity, you know, every cost the opportunity that has been coming to you have you been able to manage them well think about it if you truly truly want to attain wealth you must make a conscious decision to start taking every opportunity that comes to you seriously take them seriously manage them well because it will go a very long way to help you and then finally other ways in which you know what true wealth is all about is financial management it doesn't matter how much that comes to you if you are a poor financial manager it will end up in nothing that's the truth there are lots of people who have who have won lottery they've come to certain areas of their lives when it was like come on <laughs> they will never be poor but guess what as long as you're a poor financial manager you can't go far financially you cannot attain wealth so when we take a look at these points that i've mentioned here this is what true wealth is all about the combination of these things is what true wealth is all about the question is, is this what you have been thinking 
is the true world or you've been looking in the wrong direction. If you begin to use these tips and look in the right direction, you will agree with me that you are already wealthy. Then you are on a journey to stabilize and grow your wealth. That is what it's all about. If you don't think like this, in your pursuit of money, you will compromise your health, which is actually your wealth. In your pursuit of money, you will destroy many relationships, manage your time badly, put ideas aside, turn that opportunity you know, away. You will do all these and not realize that you are kicking away true wealth. So this is what true wealth is all about. And I want to encourage every one of you listening to me. Make a conscious decision, you will work on this area. I'm telling you, if you will give attention to these areas that I've spoken about, your life will not remain the same. In the area of financial management, go for financial education because this is what will make you a good financial manager. That's the truth. When you are a good financial manager, you will know how to grow your income, you will know how to manage your income, and then you will know how to multiply your income. And this can only happen when you are financially educated. So I just want to encourage you, take advantage of these few things that I've shared with you because it will go a very long way to help you. I will see you in the next video. Now, if you've gotten value from this video, kindly go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends or family. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know the part that resonated with you. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel and click on the notifications bell so that the next time I post a new video, you'll be the first to receive that video. All right, I'll speak to you in the next. Until then, keep cracking the money code.